Hi, welcome to Mainland Cycle Center's new vehicle department. My name is Albert, and today I want to show you a 2013 Kawasaki Mule 4010 Trans. Uh, this, of course, is uh, in the blue, kind of a new color for 2013 on the mules. Uh, I think it looks cool. I like it. Uh, of course, the trans models, what's unique about these trans, or why we call them a trans, is because they'll transform from having these dual bench seats with a short bed to a single bench seat with a long bed just by folding up that rear seat and extending the bed. And uh, we'll show you how that works here in a minute. First thing I'd like to do is show you a couple of things that were new for 2013. Uh, one of the things that the Kawasaki did for 2013 is they changed this receiver on the back. This is now a two inch receiver as opposed to the inch and a quarter receiver. And uh, it's nicer, sure, much more common. And uh, anyway, I think it was a good thing. Uh, the other thing that Kawasaki did new for 2013 was they changed the front bumper. The front, the front bumper on the old model was a steel bumper with a plastic guard over the front. It was nice looking, but uh, uh, hey, these are mules. We want a tough steel brush guard looking bumper, and we have that now on the 2013s. This great looking new bumper for 2013. Okay, um, and then also as part of the cosmetics, Kawasaki. Finally gave us a new steering wheel. This is much more uh, modern looking. Uh, has a real nice feel. I don't think it's quite as big in diameter with the power steering. You didn't need that big diameter steering wheel anymore. Uh, it's a little fatter, which I think grips the hand a little better. And uh, anyway, I like it. It's got some stitching here on the inside. Looks really nice. Definitely a, a better feel to it. And then uh, the last thing that's new for 2013 is we now have a fuel gauge in the dash. Prior to uh, the 2013 models, we had a float gauge in the top of the tank. You had to flip the seat up to look at it. But now you've got a uh, fuel gauge there in the dash. So, really nice. Uh, the Mule 4010 trans models, of course, are fuel injected. Uh, so it's a really easy start. You turn your key, crank it up. It starts up easily. Shifts in and out of gear. Very smooth. And uh, just does really, really well. So been doing fuel injection since 09 now on these and it does it does a good job 12 volt power outlet there again here's your shifter you saw me shifting a while ago we've got high low neutral and reverse and you just move your shifter through the gate there selectable two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive we recommend that you only use the four-wheel drive when you need four-wheel drive I mean if you've got good traction you don't need four-wheel drive um, this is the headlight switch horn there. Uh, this is the latch for the hood. You pull this, pick up on the front here, and that tilts this hood open. And you've got a really nice storage compartment in there. Uh, there's your coolant reservoir underneath that hood. The little black cap here lets you access the uh, radiator cap. But a uh, really good size storage compartment there. Uh, drink holders on each side. One here, one there. And uh, got some warning lights here, oil pressure warning light, temperature warning light, uh, parking brake, lets you know if the parking brake is on. DFI is what that one says, digital fuel injection, so if there's a fault with the fuel injection system. And then we've got one here that says power steering, it's a power steering fault light. Uh, and then uh, the last lever here for us to talk about is the differential lock and unlock right here. This controls the rear differential. So with the rear differential unlocked, basically we've got one wheel driving in the back. If you lock this in, that engages that other rear wheel and you've got full power to both wheels and uh, no slippage uh, at those wheels. Uh, the advantage to be able to unlock this is that if you're using on hard surface, say on the road or like here on the parking lot at the dealership, uh, it'll be easier on the tires with it unlocked. If you're driving in your yard, it won't tear the grass up. Uh, with it unlocked. But you can run it locked all the time, it won't hurt the mule uh, at all. Other than you may wear out the tires a little faster. Just a gas pedal or brake pedal. You see we've got this diamond plate steel floor. Very uh, heavy duty, uh, rugged, durable. Uh, we like it. Alright, so that's a quick look at the controls. Real nice double bench seat with seat belts. There, you can see your parking brake here on the end. Just a regular hand style parking brake. And then uh, here's your rear seat, and we were talking about earlier that you can fold up this rear seat. And let's kind of show you how that works. Got a little pull right here, 
give this a little pull we'll push down the back of the seat so push down the back of the seat that folds up got some latches here on the sides undo those latches and then this seat folds up one more time so now you've got the seat folded out of the way so you can see then that this is the bottom of the bed okay just like that and you've got these little doors these little bedsides that fold out so you fold both of those out that one too and then you've got a little latch right in here undo this little latch and then you could pick up this rear piece here pick it up move it forward and stab it into the new holes there latch it back in let this now these latches it did latch to the seat now latch to the bed sides and so that'll give you a long bed then with a single bench seat uh, or of course you can put it like we had it you have the short bed now once that seat is folded up that will allow you to tilt this bed and so that'll let you tilt the bed and there's a kind of a good look at your motor there 620 cc v-twin again liquid cooled so it's got a radiator again they're fuel injected uh, one of the cool things that we do on these mules is we have a snorkel air intake so right here and right there is the air intake so the air comes down this pipe over to this hose and there's a filter here this filter is for the torque converter this is the torque converter. We filter air through that, we circulate air through that torque converter to keep the torque converter cool, but then we filter the air we circulate through there, and then the air that we draw in to filter, we draw up high, there's less dust up high. And then the same thing on the other side, have the air intake there, it comes down, and that filter is for the motor, for the intake for the motor. So snorkel air intakes. Okay. Tilt our bed back down. Fold our seat back up. All right, so there we go. So now you're back to uh, dual bench seats. And one of the cool things about the way the Kawasaki did that is that uh, they really only extended the the wheelbase by about this 10, 11 inches or so, right here. So the wheelbase is not just crazy long, uh, like some of our competitors' crew cab models are uh, really long wheelbase which hurts the ground clearance on them and uh, these still do really really well uh, these have a semi-independent rear suspension all steel bed these are rated at 800 pounds in the bed when you're in that long bed mode they're rated at 400 pounds in the bed when you're in that short bed mode uh, they're taking into account that you're going to have some passengers possibly of course there's tops available for these windshields gun racks lift kits wheel tire kits uh, bumpers, rear bumpers, bed rails, just all kinds of things that you can get for these. Put stereos in them. Uh, I have some other videos on our YouTube channel of some mules with some of those options. Uh, so you might check those out if you're interested in having one built like that. We keep the majority of those accessories in stock at all times. So if you want one of these mules, you want it built a certain way, we can build it for you any way you want it. If we don't have it, we'll get it. All right, so that is a uh, an overview of this 2013 Kawasaki Mule 4010 Trans. Uh, we want to take just a minute and tell you who we are and where we are. We are Mainland Cycle Center, and we are located about 30 minutes south of downtown Houston, uh, just off of I-45 here in Lamarck, Texas. Our website is mainlandcyclecenter.com. Our phone number is 409. 948-4969. Uh, we would just love it if you give us a call, shoot us an email, come by and see us. We're here to help any way we can. Hey, thanks for watching.